calculus right in here between number 31 and 32 and uh, there is no way that I can just do the deep cleaning without uh, doing uh, a flat, uh, flat uh, scaling deep cleaning so I make a distal incision right here and I just basically flap this out and I'm gonna go ahead and deflap it reflect the gum right now so you can see what what you want to see here is on this side here yeah I'm going to zoom in so you can see this so now I can see really clearly the defect spot okay so the next step is I'm going to the next step is I'm gonna try this inside yeah, so when I start the started the subsequent local infiltration, lingual buccal infiltration, now I can see the granulation tissue right down here. A lot of granulation tissue, which uh, is uh, the basically the chronic infection gum, I'm taking away them. And I'm gonna go inside. I know him deep enough that he doesn't feel much anymore. Clean, clean the inside of this. Yeah. And then, so now there is a flotation involved on number 31. As you can see, my, my instrument can go into the box of flotation. The good thing is, I don't see uh, uh, like calculus accumulation here yet. Uh, so, the, that's a good thing, it doesn't go in here, but. What I would do is, uh, after I do the cleaning, I might do uh, uh, the surgical uh, trimming the bone here, so that's where you can get a better healing right here, otherwise it will be the same problem. But we do have to trim the bone trying to pull this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, smooth the architecture of the bone right here for the patient. So we are going to smooth it out. Because that's where the defect is. So if the if there is a defect, if the bone not gonna, the gum not gonna heal up. But this angle is a little bit difficult. So far, I'm focused on the buckle, but I'm gonna have to go on the lingo to, to look for something that on the lingo as well. Put the oxygen plug in there, and now I'm gonna switch it. In. This one so that you can see it. Pull this one from here. Pull the lip one. 